My name is Dr. Austin. I work with Shoe Revamp. Shoe Revamp is the shoe care outfit. Basically, we repair shoes. We change the look of shoes. So instead of trashing your old shoes, we can just revamp them to new ones uh, using the same sole instead of buying new shoes. Um, so basically, that's what we do at Shoe Revamp. It is sustainable because the reason why we started Shoe Revamp was because we wanted to make sure that people don't throw away their shoes. If you know the amount of energy it takes to make one sole of a shoe, you know, it, it, then you will probably you need to recycle or upcycle your shoes so that you can save that energy and the water and the drainages that need to be blocked the moment you throw away your shoes. So what we do is that at Shoe Revamp, we know that, okay, what we're doing is just to ensure that people save, we also save the environment, ensure that your, your shoes can be reconverted instead of trashing them or we can repair them. And that way you also save money by doing so. You know, there are various types of, types of shoes and quality, quality type of shoe, right? So let's say you invest in, in a synthetic material, okay? And because it's different from quality leather, if you spend money on expensive shoes, you won't let them go that easily, right? But the thing is, what determines how long you can use the sole is it's the quality of the shoe. A male shoe can be resold up to 10 times. If your sole is bad, you can actually resole it more than 10 times within the life cycle of that shoe for the, for the male guys, right? But as long as the leather is good, in some cases for the women folks, it's the upper leather that is bad and the sole is still intact. What we do at Shuri Vamp is we can change and re recreate that same upper, you know, that was bad to quality leather. So that means that you can use that shoe for more years, right? And also, if, for example, you have a, a cut shoe, but you're tired of wearing the cut shoe and you want to convert them to sling back, at Shoe Revamp, instead of buying, going ahead to buy new shoes, we can recreate that cut shoe to sling back for you, right? That means we can convert your full cover shoe to sandal. We started off as a shoe shine company, right? Because I know that most times when my shoes are dirty, um, I don't have the time to clean them up or to polish them. And you need to care for your shoes. You know, you need to care for your leather by polishing them for, the, for them to, to stay longer. But a lot of us don't do it. We are busy, we're running off to work and all of that. Even if you buy the polish at home, we still won't polish our shoes, right? So for me, I wanted to just make sure that I'm able to care for shoes. So we started off with shoe care services at events and all of that. So if you come for, an, for, a, for let's say for a wedding, everybody's shoe is dusty. So we're offering that kind of services to people. But the idea really is that we wanted to prolong the lifespan of shoes because it's easier for you to maintain your shoes rather than buy new shoes, right? And it costs you less. So that's the reason. And also I realized that a lot of Nigerians invest in high quality shoes, in expensive shoes, but you can't trust those shoes or entrust those shoes to roadside cobblers who don't know anything about leather or the quality of the shoes, right? So I decided to, you know, do more learnings, uh, learn how to make shoes, um, understand different kinds of leather, the kind of consumables that need to be used to ensure that the shoes last longer. So that's the reason why we started Shoe Revamp. And also realized that you can buy a shoe in the US and you need to now travel all the way to the US just because you want to change the heel cap or because you think that you don't have very good cobblers in Nigeria to do so. You really need to know how to make shoes. You can't start a business that you don't have skill in. You know, so it's easy for you to, you can't, because the cobblers you see on the streets are not exactly the kind of cobblers that you might need to repair the shoes because they're complexities, right? Because what we do here is the shoes that are made in the US or in different parts of the country, you have to decouple those shoes, you know, scatter all of them and remake them to the same design or a different design entirely. So it's not like the regular roadside cobblers that only know how to polish shoes, right? So you need to know, you need to know this, have the skill. That means you need to undergo trainings. Um, and that takes time, you know? So even if I told you are going to recruit other people, other cobblers to work with you, you also need to understand um, how these guys work as well, right? So, and I think that is also very important. And then understanding um, the various types of shoes, right? understanding the needs of the customers because we are we are catering to mostly women and then if, if, i mean more than five about 10 percent of our customer base are men right but because we know that women buy a lot of shoes okay and but the problem is 
do women, women really care for shoes, right? Because they don't have the time. Uh, they don't have the time or probably the expertise. We make sure that most of our repairs are mostly for women. We understand the peculiar needs of the women. So it's just about understanding the market and being able to solve it. So yes, I, so in summary, I would say that having the right skill, um, of course, maybe being educated also helps a lot as well because customer relationship skill is also very important and then understand how to communicate with your customers is also key. It's not enough for you to have the raw skill to say I'm a cobbler, but how to, you know, transform that skill that you have as a cobbler uh, in building a business out of it. So that's very key as well. One of the tips would be that you polish your shoes, particularly the leather shoes. If you don't know how to polish them, ensure that you give it to a cobbler who knows how to do it. Secondly, when you buy your shoes, remove them from the carton. If you don't, the shoes will feel I mean, the weather is very hot, and by the time you know it, they're already peeling inside. That's a major reason why most female shoes get to peel, it's especially those ones that are not real leather, all right? And then third, um, try as much as possible not to put your shoes where there's water or humidity. Okay, so you, you don't have to put your shoes where that is completely enclosed. You need to air your shoes, right? So you need to air your shoes from time to time. So whenever your shoes are not being worn, you need to take them out, air them. I'm not saying you should sun them totally, but just air them somewhere, right? That way, it helps protect the leather, okay? But if you don't do that, they start peeling. And then another point is this. When, you're, when you wear your shoes to areas where there are pebbles, okay, where there are stones, please, it's best not to wear heels in those kind of areas. It's easier for you to pull them. Like example, if you're going to church and you know that you have interlockings in your church, it's best that you don't wear your heels um, until you get to a place where you need to wear them because the moment you do, do so, you see all the scratches. That's why you see the heel wrappings are scratching and all of that. Also, the moment you notice that your heel cap is broken, the heel cap is the black rubber that is beneath your, your, your heels. Don't allow it get real bad. The moment it cracks, the best thing to do is to take it to a cobbler to replace that cap. Or you can also buy a heel protector. They are this transparent heel protector that you can wear on those shoes whenever you're going for this kind of event. And then another point is this, try to buy good leather shoes. Quality is better than quantity, okay? So if it means you have to spend more in buying one single quality leather shoe, you should buy it. Because the moment you buy cheap shoes, the mass produced leather shoes, um, yeah, synthetic leather shoes, in no time they will start peeling, right? So you can put them in your, in your shoe closet but even though you've not worn them, all right, they will get bad. So the advice is that most times, it's not all shoes that glitters that are good leather shoes, right? Okay, and you need to. And then another point is the patent shoes, those shiny patent shoes, okay? You don't have to use uh, palm oil or granola oil to clean them, okay? So you need to buy or invest in maybe um, patent leather care products that are available and also, Final uh, tip I will give is, do not use water to, to clean your sweat shoes. You don't use sweat to clean um, your sweat shoes. And the reason is because the moment you use sweat to clean your, your sweat shoes, you will discover that the hairy part of the, of the sweat begins to slip and then it looks dull, okay? So the best thing to do is, is to use sweat reconditioner, which is also available in the market, like the spray and all of that, right? So those are some of the tips that you can, you know, you can use to ensure that your shoes last much longer and also please don't overuse a particular shoe right <laughs> don't overuse a particular shoe you need to change those shoes have them in numbers if you interchange those shoes because the moment you interchange them i mean it lasts longer so you use this one this date the next day you use another one so that way you can it can last longer for you all right hi my name is austin i work with shoe revamp keep watching page three <laughs>